The next model is quantity discount model. So here we are relaxing the assumption that the, the price of the item remains constant. Besides the setup cost and the ordering cost that were variable, the item cost is also variable. So here, for example, for order quantities from 0 to 9.99, there is no discount. So price of the item is $5. And if you order 1,000 all the way up to 19.99, we get 4% discount. So your price per unit comes down to $4.80. And then anything 2,000 and over, you get 5% discount on $4.75. So now in this case, cost of the item is also dependent upon order quantity. So our annual total cost should now include the cost of the item as well. So it's not only the annual ordering cost and the annual holding cost, but annual product costs also must be included in the equation. Yeah. Now in quantity discount models, typically the holding cost will be given as a percentage of the cost of the item. So when the cost of the item changes, the holding cost will also change. So that is given by this formula, I times P, where I is the percentage and P is the cost of the item. Now there is no single formula that can be used to compute the economic order quantity in the case of quantity discount, so you have to use an iterative process. And the reason for that is that the total cost has discontinuities. It is not like in the previous cases, it's just one function. Right? When the order quantity increases, you know, it'll, the total cost comes down and then starts going back up. Now here, when you reach a particular price break point, then there is a discount, and so the cost comes down, and, and it is smaller than the minimum cost that you could obtain in this price in this quantity range and then it starts to go back up then again we hit the next price break point and there is another drop so you have to look at all the minimum points that we reach and then see which one of, of these minimum points including the discontinuities that the least total cost globally is. So it is not enough to simply look at one particular price, but you have to look at all of them and then see where the least price quantity is. So here is an example. Well, we'll continue from the same example like here. Okay, so you have to compute the economic order quantity for each quantity discount price breaks and then calculate the total cost and, and make sure that the costs are then compared in a proper way. Okay. I'm going to illustrate this methodology with a numerical example. 